Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am Dr. T. Anand, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Science and Humanities, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In this video, I am going to discuss metal clusters with high nuclearity carbonyl clusters and their framework determination. So, in general, the metal cluster definition is what a group of two or more metal atoms that are directly linked to one another through metal metal bonds. These metal clusters are further classified into two types one is halide cluster, another one is carbonyl clusters. In halide clusters, the metal atoms are in the oxidation state of plus 2 and plus 3. So, these are the simplest examples. In carbonyl clusters, the metal atoms are in the oxidation state of minus 1, 0 and plus 1. In general, first transition, second transition and third transition metals forms the carbonyl clusters. Further, these carbonyl clusters are classified into two types. These are low nuclearity carbonyl clusters, it called as a LNCC and high nuclearity carbonyl clusters called as a HNCC. In low nuclearity carbonyl clusters, these clusters contain comparatively small number of metal atoms and it forms only dinuclear, trinuclear and tetranuclear compounds. The examples are Fe2CO9 and Fe3CO12. In high nuclearity carbonyl clusters, these clusters contain minimum 5 or more than 5 metal atoms directly bonded to one another. To understand the framework of high nuclearity carbonyl clusters, we should know the electron counting scheme because no classical theory of bonding is applied for these clusters. The reason is all the clusters are electron deficient, so normal electron pair model cannot apply for these clusters. For example, Bird's rule for electron deficient boron is applicable and the same is applied for the high nuclearity carbonyl clusters because of the isolable analogy. So, step 1. Step 1 is what? Total electron count or number of valence electron. So, in the step 1, the first point is count the number of valence electron on each metal. Second one is for each CO will contribute 2 electrons for bonding and each negative charge is also used for bonding and it share contributes 1 electron. And if it is a heteroatom clusters, so hydrogen contributes 1 electron, carbon contributes 4 electron and phosphorus contributes 5 electron and nitrogen contributes 3 electrons. According to the Waits rule, the carbonyl clusters are further classified into three types, Closo, Nido and Arachno. Closo is what? All the vertices of the polyhedrons are occupied. Nido is one vertex is not occupied. Arachno is two vertexes not occupied. So, the Closo clusters, normal Closo cl framework clusters will obey 12 n plus 2 n plus 1 rule and Nido clusters will obey 12 n minus 1 plus 2 n plus 1 rule. In arachno clusters, it will obey 12 n minus 2 plus 2 into n plus 1 rule. The n is nothing but what? n is number of vertices and each vertex contributes 12 electrons. So, now we should know how to calculate the n. That is very important because n only we are applying in this formula. The first step is what? To calculate the total electron count. Second step is to calculate the S. S is nothing but what? Number of skeletal pair of electrons. So, how to calculate the S? 1 by 2 total electron count minus number of metal atom multiplied by 12. To calculate the N, the formula is N is equal to S minus 1. S is nothing but what? S is the number of skeletal pair of electron. And Closo has a maximum number of electrons and compared with Closo, Nido and Arachno, Closo has a maximum number of electrons. The electron difference between the Closo and Nido is 12 electrons and Nido and Arachno is 12 electrons and the Closo and Arachno have 24 electrons difference. So, the first problem, first problem is what? RH6CO16. So, first step is what? We have to calculate the total electron count. So, here rhodium valence electron is what? 9 valence electron multiply with 6 because 6 metal atoms are present. Each CO will contribute 2 electrons for bonding. So, 16 into 12. So, how much electrons? 54 plus 32, 86 electron. Second step is what? To calculate the S. The formula of S is what? 1 by 2 total electron count minus number of metal atom multiplied by 12. So, 1 by 2 total electron count already we know 86. So, 86 minus 6 multiply by 12. So, the S value is 7 and the N formula is what? N is equal to S minus 1. So, 7 minus 1, 6. 
now we can apply into the closed hole clusters formula so what is the formula 12 n plus 2 n plus 1 so n value is what n value is 6 so the final value is what 86 the same n value we can apply for nido formula also 12 n minus 1 plus 2 n plus 1 so the final value is what 74 and the arachno formula when we are applying 12 n minus 2 plus 2 into n plus 1 and the final value is what 62 now we can compare with the total electron count with the closer it almost coincide the total electron count is coincide with that value so it confirms the rs6co16 confirms the closer structure like that we can easily identify and one more thing is here the n value is 6 which represents the closo octahedral structure so next problem is os5 co16 again first we have to calculate the total electron count so osmium have 8 valence electron so multiply by 5 and co contributes 2 electrons so total electron count is 72 and s formula already we know 1 by 2 total electron count minus number of metal atom multiply by 12 so s value is 6 and the n value is what s minus 1 so 6 minus 1 the n value is 5 so now we are applying the n value in the formula of closo nido and arachno so applying the value of closo is what 72 nido is 16 and arachno is 48 now we can compare the total electron count and with the values of closo and nido so it coincides with the closo formula so it confirms the os5 co16 confirms the closo structure so the last case the n formula is 5 so it confirms the trigonal bipyramidal structure the next problem is fe4 c co12 2 minus the first step is to calculate the total electron count here iron have valence electron is 8 four metal atoms are there and carbon contributes four electron carbonyl contributes two electrons and two negative charges also there so the total electron count is 62 now we have to calculate the s value so after the uh, after substituting the value the s value is what s value is 7 and the n value is what 7 minus 1 so n value is 6 so now we are substituting the n value in the closo formula nido formula and the arachno formula so the closo it shows 86 electrons and nido shows 74 electrons and arachno shows 62 electrons now we can compare the total electron count with the arachno formula it shows a coincidence so it confirms the fe4 c c o12 2 minus shows the arachno structure and one more problem h3 ru4 co12 minus so here we have a hydrogen and we have one minus so total electron count is what ruthenium 8 electrons 2 electrons for co one minus charge and three hydrogens are there so total electron count is what 60 the s formula after applying that we can get the s value as a 6 and n value is what n value is 6 minus 1 so n value is 5 so the n value again we are substituting in the all the formula closo nido and arachno to identify the exact structure for closo it shows 72 electrons nido it shows 60 electrons arachno it shows 48 electrons now we can compare the total electron count and the values and it confirms the nido structure because it is exactly coincided with the structure so h3 ru4 co12 2 minus is a nido structure like that we have to calculate and identify the frameworks of high nuclearity carbonyl clusters thank you